Rebecca uh, Ren Renkas uh, has just done the course and said she would like to talk a little bit about her experience. That'd be lovely. Yeah, um, I've I've done energy work since uh, 2011, just because I was ill and in bed for a couple of years and um, was kind of seeking. And I always felt like, you know, if I could jump start my body and my immune system, I always believed that the body can heal itself. Um, and so I, I've been taking courses over the years and I always said, okay, no more. I'm so done learning. I don't want to take another course. Um, but then about a year and a half, um, I just kept searching and listening to different <laughs> doctors and, you know, what kind of methods could help um, clean up the jab from people's bodies. Um, mm -hmm. And I just kept praying. I'm more of a spiritual person, but I grew up going to church and, and that's just not my thing anymore. But my faith is very strong. And so I just feel like God directed me to or, you know, the universe higher power directed me to this course. And um, it was just so beautiful. And um, I emailed you, you about um, the one module uh, with Jesus. I was just bawling my eyes out. And I mean, this is not a religious. Imagine it was like when we were channeling it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know because I was just so silent all day and really reflective and I just felt this course is so powerful so powerful and um, I have a couple of family members that have already approached me to work uh, with them and so they'll be my first practice people if you want oh, to bless. say that's so lovely to hear but um I just feel like we're all here for a reason. We've all been directed and guided to this moment right now uh, since 2020. Yeah. We, I mean, and before we're here to help people. And that's all I ever wanted to do since I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I was in uh, the healthcare system for a while working with Alzheimer's patients and you know, I just felt like something was missing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something was missing. And so I started to get into energy work and healing for myself and and healing um, abuse issues and things growing up. And I just feel like this is just going to help so many people. And um, especially with know, the new edition as well that we're working on. Mm, I was just thinking. Oh, that. yeah. <laughs> we just I, started I channeling that last yesterday yeah. and it's absolutely divine it's all about healing the auric layers which, oh. are, which they told us there's 12 it's a big oh. seven. it's a big healing this mm. next oh, one. that's um, fantastic and healing the that's uh fantastic. removing all the toxins and poisons and gmos and effects of big pharma mm -hmm. poisons and they said arsenic one of them um and also uh yeah from the how that cor uh, correlates to um Gaia mm -hmm. and her where she's at with her um ascension it all ties together it's really magnificent we're very so we're just getting that happening we're very connected to earth. Mm. and there's a, a direct That's correlation amazing. between us and our ascension process and Gaia and her ascension process this is all starting oh, to come to light mm -hmm. right yeah. yeah. So if anyone's hesitant about this, really, you know, really go deep and, and I just think it's just, we're here for a purpose and there's so many people that need help. When I went on the job injuries global oh, yes. website and I clicked on some stories from Canada cause I'm from Calgary, Alberta area. And uh, let's flood those sites with messages. Everyone no. just say, I'm here. I live in Noosa, I live in, um, as you said, Calgary, did you just say? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Just say, and if anyone's in the Calgary area, I'm doing um, that jab removal, however you want to say it, you know, mm. healing. Now that you're here, Jenny, we would love to hear 
um, your words of advice to all these potential facilitators because you've done it and you've done your first healing too. Mm -hmm. So they would love to hear how your experience I'm sure. Oh, wow. Thank you. I've really been put on the spot, haven't I? No problem at all. <laughs> Didn't know what you were in for. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, absolutely. Look, um, I really um, spent a lot of time getting my ducks in a row. That was the first thing and ensuring that I was really comfortable with the process because it is quite um, well set out in terms of what you do. And I practiced. I practiced uh, on my partner um, so that I was very comfortable with it. And when I got to the actual first one that I did, um, I realised that I didn't need to refer to any of the, you know, the the PDFs and all of those sorts of things because I I already embodied the process. So right. that would be my advice to practice, um, even the before and the after. I'll be right back. I want to ask a question well. online. Oh, just, just mute yourselves, everybody. I think someone needs to mute, maybe. Melanie, if you could mute, mute your computer or your device, that'd be great. Sorry, yes. darling. Yeah, yeah. So I would um, I would practice everything. And uh, that way you've got a level of, um, I feel, sort of confidence with it. It is slightly different to what I would normally do in a healing session. And, and so, you mm. know, going in there and making sure. And I really, you know, following the, the checklist, is really mm. helpful um, yeah. to ensure that you've done everything you need to do. And you really probably need to do that a couple of times. And then after that, it, it just flows. But yes, it went really, really well, my first one. So I was really excited. And uh, I had uh, the 10 day catch up with her on Monday. And uh, oh, how did that go? In, oh, it was wonderful. She's in a totally different space now. And the symptoms wow. that she was experiencing, which were escalating over a period of time, mm. had had started to completely decrease. So, yeah, it was really good. Um, yeah, having that conversation with her and getting that feedback, yeah. Oh, Fantastic. my goodness, that's really the funny. best That's the best news. I can't, mm. I'm so thrilled about that. Mm. And wow. so when you say practice, I know you said you've practised on your partner. Have you got any yeah. other suggestions of how people can practise? If they um, don't have someone in their home they can practise on, if they don't have willing participants. Well, that, that's a tricky one. I mean, okay, this might be a bit out there, but often I practise in my mind. So I go through the process in my mind. So if oh. I'm looking at a checklist, I can then visualise, okay, this is what I would do. And, and even before I did the actual uh, healing, I was in my mind practising the hand positions. And, and what the intention was when, yes. because obviously that changes as you move down the, the body. So I was, I was practicing it in my mind and that helped me a lot as well. Mm. And you could probably, you know, if you wanted something more physical, you could probably practice like you were doing a remote healing, a Reiki healing, and then, you know, practice it that way as well um, on yeah. something else. Yeah, that would be the other thing that I That's what I was going to do say yeah. too if you have yeah. a um, massage table or you know even a pillow yes. Um, yes. work on it like it's a person and practice going through the steps of the healing so that's a good way to get the, pr the process of it really um, down pat and then when it comes to actually working real energy on real people um, I think they come to you when you're ready as well oh, but, I agree yeah so and they'll, really they'll come you. very gently to you so it may be someone you know or someone who's a family member or yeah someone that won't be too much of a, a difficult one for you to start with I'm sure it'll all be gently guided to you but yeah I think that's a great idea to practice like you're doing a remote healing on someone and just imagine that there is somebody there and go through the process yourself until you feel really comfortable with it flowing well for you and practice doing maybe Reiki healings on people or pets or family or friends free of charge that are not the vaccine removal, but they're a similar healing. Yes. Yes. Hello, Melanie. It's very nice to see you. <laughs> we have another lovely lady here, Robin Porritt. Yeah. How are you? Have you you've finished yeah. the course, haven't you? I have finished the course. I've done um, three treatments. Ooh, oh, now, please tell us about it. <laughs> yes. Well, um, the first one was my husband, and so he didn't have actually symptoms, fortunately, from having taken it. Yeah. Um, but it's a beautiful treatment, very powerful, beautiful treatment. 
And he can respect that. He's a Reiki channel himself. So um, the next person did have some symptom. Yeah. And um, these were my freebies to get going, you know. Um, and she had a, a quite profound experience. And she was bathed in white light at the end of the session. And oh. yes, I know. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, me, me too. And I felt bad that I'd woken her up. You know, because she said I was in this yeah. beautiful the space filled with white luck. I thought, oh crap, I should have left <laughs> left you there. But anyway, yeah. that was that was lovely. The other per the third person, this is an interesting one, and other people may find this. I don't know that she's actually had them, but she believes she was given to her when she was under anesthetic in hospital. Yep. Because her blood, live blood analysis is showing that dreadful sort of appearance of having. Mm -hmm. So I did the treatment as as if she had. Yes. She, she went to sleep, so she had no feedback. <laughs> How divine! So, she was just absolutely like let the central nervous system was totally absolutely, mm. absolutely gone. But it is a beautiful treatment, and I I think I shared with you guys in email early on that the biggest struggle for me was the kind of faith component, having come like you guys from absolutely zero religious mm. interest or affiliation that this is what I struggle with and I'm finding it quite interesting now because I think this is the challenge for me the very clear message I got was that in doing the treatments this will you know bring me to that place but as soon as I mentioned to anyone that they've got to read this handout on faith in God you would just see them for dust you know like <laughs> whoa you know? <laughs> no yeah, we were just talking about that earlier and we it's, may, you know, yeah. just need to um, maybe make it a little more, um, um, what was the word I'm trying to think of? Um, you know what, I've written, Malleable in, in the way that you present that document. Mm, um, I've written an yeah. email. I, I've written something that I copy and paste into an email to send to that client when I send yes. that document off mm. and the consent that is a, a way of very subtly introducing them to it so that they're open to it. And I think that's really yeah. important. And if, if you, say, were to give it to them on the day, which you can't do, you have to get it. No. Before, um, yeah. The way you speak to them about it is really important and, and it's yeah. got to be intuitively done, you know, for each different person. Because we may add another video. I think it mm. might be important within the course to add. What do you think, Jenny? Yeah. But I also think it's quite interesting because I think yeah. that it's also my own challenge because this is something that I'm struggling with that mm. I think that therefore that would be evident in the way I'm presenting it. Yeah. Yes. So that yes. Until, until I have that absolute belief and confidence myself, then it's, that's going to be conveyed no matter what I think I'm saying. You know, yeah. that there's going to be that underlying thing that's not like 100% in. Yeah, you know, yeah, embodied. It's struggling, yep. you know, as I was saying with the whole concept of Jesus Christ and having a born again Christian daughter who was totally kind of foul, that <laughs> porter for me, that, that to name him Yeshua. And anyway, in my sort of prayers and meditations, you know, in, in saying, am I uh, trying to ask Yeshua into my heart? Mm -hmm. And back comes this instant reply, I'm already there. You know, <laughs> that right. Fair enough. I've just used other names, other. And yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Totally. Yeah. See, my, my Reiki that. practice has a whole meditation strand and it just uses a different name at that point. It's exactly the same. Yep. So yeah. I was just reminded of that. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Mm. It's absolutely really great for us to hear that. It's absolutely amazing. Mm.